Hello and welcome to uh, the Gartner Supply Chain Conference. Uh, well, certainly, we're delighted to be here from Loftware. As the session said this morning, we really talked a lot about reimagining your supply chain, and this is a great opportunity for us to meet with customers and talk to our customers as well as prospective customers and everyone here about rethinking labeling. And uh, that's really what we want to talk about today, and I'm delighted to be here with Rob Bergman from WL Gore Associates, uh, one of our customers, and he really will be the star of the show uh, today and tell you about his experiences uh, with labeling. So I'm just going to give a quick introduction to Loftware and, uh, and some of the drivers in the industry, and then turn it over to Rob. So Loftware is the global market leader in enterprise labeling solutions. And by that, we mean software to design, distribute, deliver, and trace internal and customer-facing labels and related supply chain documents. And all these documents and supply chain labels are integrated with business applications that you already have and business processes that you use. So we are an enterprise software company with over 25 years of experience and 5,000 customers really in 100 co countries across the world. And some of them are the world's largest and most successful organizations. And I can see some of our customers today in the audience. So welcome. We look forward to spending time with you during the conference. And our customers uh, go across 25 uh, different industries, and uh, which really makes us uh, allows us to, to have a lot of deep domain expertise and our industry experts internal to Loftware focus their attention on delivering label solu labeling solutions that meet the needs of the most complex and high volume printing requirements. And we're very, uh, we're very proud of our relationships uh, that we have with SAP, Oracle, and many other uh, uh, enterprise applications that we integrate to. And so as I said, we have 5,000 customers, and it's really one of our greatest assets is our customer base. And again, many of them are here, and, uh, and they're really blue chip customers uh, who are really in virtually every industry, uh, as you can see here, a little bit of an eye chart, uh, but uh, it really speaks to our, uh, our, our size and our scale and our ability to deliver to global organizations. And some of the major issues that we deal with um, you know, are really solving large customer problems uh, that our customers are experiencing, and some of them are listed here on, the, on this slide. And, uh, uh, for starters, really one of the things that we talk to our customers a lot is to help them be more responsive to their customers' needs. And that allows them to make real-time changes to meet their customer-specific labeling requests, enabling them to make changes to labels to both win new business opportunities, to bring products into new regions faster, uh, to avoid fines or, or possible business losses. And in many times after implementing our software, our customers really tell us that we save them hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars, uh, in enabling them to be more responsive to their customers. The second bullet is business continuity. And in a world where widespread natural disasters and geopolitical unrest routinely impact global supply chains, it's important, really more important than ever, uh, that we help our customers mitigate uh, those disruptions. And the way to do that is have a global centralized approach to labeling and offer flexibility to quickly respond to these disruptions and make sure that uh, your labeling production doesn't stop. And as we go on, supply chains are increasingly global, and the importance of collaboration increases, and we've heard a lot about that in the uh, conference so far, so far. The same thing applies for labeling, where leading organizations are extending labeling to their business partners, not just customers, as we talked about earlier, but to, uh, to partners, to suppliers, and to vendors to provide greater flexibility and efficiency. And as, again, in the conference has been a driving uh, force, configurability is very important. And uh, so as supply chains become more tailored uh, by product line or geography or channel that they serve, labeling needs to be increasingly configurable and tailorable uh, to support varied requirements across your supply chain. And of course, labeling and regulatory compliance issues go hand in hand. And whether, as uh, you'll hear from uh, Rob in a few minutes, uh, medical device companies need to focus on UDI initiatives, or food and beverage companies need to focus on GS1, or chemical companies focused on reach. Regulations continue to grow and grow and evolve, and companies need to stay uh, on top of those issues, and Lawfare provides the power and flexibility to produce compliant labels that your industry demands. And lastly, and certainly not leastly, the, um, a, a label represents both your product and your brand. And enabling brand consistency is essential for many of the types of organizations that, uh, that we work with and helps allow our customers maintain control over their brand, especially as they deliver their products in very geographically dispersed uh, areas of the world. 
and also counterfeiting is a big issue. It's becoming a more pressing issue uh, now and, and in the future. It seems like every week we're hearing about counterfeiting of drugs or parts that represent both a public safety hazard as well as a threat to the brand and reputation revenue of a company. So with that, again, uh, Rob is our featured speaker here. I'd like to turn uh, the proceedings over to him. Uh, Rob Bergman, again, from W.L. Gore. W.L. Gore has been a longtime law firm customer. And Rob is here to share his very relevant story on how important and how strategic labeling is within his company and within his industry. Rob? Well, thank you, Bob, for inviting me here today. Um, it's exciting to be able to share some thoughts uh, with this group. Hello, everyone. My name is Rob Bergman. Uh, I'm a project manager supporting package labeling operations globally for W.L. Gore & Associates, Inc., for our medical products division. Many in the marketplace know us simply as Gore. Uh, we have four divisions, fabrics, which is known for the power brand Gore-Tex, which many of you may have heard of. We also have an industrial, an electronics, and a medical division. Gore focuses on developing high-value products for our customers with a passionate focus around fitness for use. Our products are often first to market new technologies that do what we say they will do. Gore has been in Fortune Magazine's 100 Best Companies to Work For since its inception, making 2013 the 16th consecutive year that Gore has appeared on that list. In today's diverse marketplace, data is everywhere you look. From barcodes used to scan goods at a point of sale, to data fields we are asked to fill in every time we purchase something online, to the QR codes we see on billboards and the sides of buses, allowing us a quick access to a wealth of information on a product being displayed. Within the medical device, device space, the FDA is drafting legislation today mandating a standard for data used throughout that supply chain. The goal is improved patient safety and swift and accurate device recall. This legislation is driving new consistency throughout the supply chain and around how devices are identified within various systems that track it. Patient safety is the name of the game within the medical device industry. It's a highly regulated, risk-based industry that is on par with industries such as aviation, where critical failures can mean human lives. Labeling plays a huge role in mitigating patient risks. Errors in labeling con content can result in mislabeling issues, which is the number one cause of medical device recalls. No manufacturer wants their devices recalled. Beyond the obvious patient safety implications, it can be very costly for a company, can damage a company's brand, sometimes permanently, and in extreme cases can even shut the company's doors. So this may just look like another label to you, but to us it's so much more. This finished good label is really a place where all of our customers' needs are met. Like Bob mentioned, today's business environment is about responsiveness to our customers' needs. This label is actually meeting the needs of many customers. This label supports the Gore brand and promotes a specific device within the market. It also allows the nurses and techs within a medical facility to identify and select the device quickly and accurately and confirm that the product has not expired. The various regulatory requirements of countries around the globe are satisfied through symbols and special instructions. Distribution and logistics, as well as manufacturing, are other customers served by this label by providing the, the data, human readables, and data carriers necessary to move this product efficiently through the supply chain to its ultimate destination and point of use. Beyond finished good labeling out of our manufacturing sites, regional labeling at remote locations, such as 3PLs, can continue to meet our customers' needs and drive business continuity by providing highly specialized information for specific markets. Here you'll see an example of an import label for China, an import label for India, and a product identification label for Chinese hospitals. Not only are we required to meet the needs of regulatory agencies in these countries, we are sometimes challenged with meeting regional requirements within a country with a different set of requirements from an overseeing government agency. Taking that another step further, we've recently been required by hospitals to provide product identification labels which is not an agency requirement, but rather based on reimbursement by the hospitals themselves. We recently had a situation where we were meeting uh, CFDA requirements in China, and CFDA being uh, an equivalent to FDA in China. By providing information on the front panel of a leaflet attached to the product carton within a Ziploc pouch. 
Our products were unfortunately stopped in customs because the leaflet was not considered a quote-unquote label. This is an excellent example of how the ever-changing requirements of global business affect us and how being able to quickly meet those needs keeps products moving and sales happening. No one wants their products stuck at the border. So in closing, it's time for global companies to rethink labeling within their supply chains. Think about how your labels are meeting your customers' needs. Think about who those customers are and how their needs may vary. Think about where you need to print your labels and apply those labels, and whether your current labeling systems are even capable of supporting that. The key is to be adaptable to ever-changing global requirements and meeting those needs quickly. The bottom line is that when products stop, sales stop. A flexible and dynamic global labeling system can allow a company to get more creative in how it meets their global customers' needs. We are coming from a place where historically, finished good labeling was often used to meet all global requirements. Today, global requirements are changing too often for this to be an efficient option to meet our customers' needs. The right labeling system enables companies to configure products for any given market, specifically meeting the needs of those customers. Beyond that, it allows us to localize a product for a specific market. There's no better brand support than a customer feeling like a product was built just for them. Our enterprise is leveraging Loftware in our global labeling solutions, and we're excited by some of the opportunities we've already realized globally. If you can seize opportunity while effectively meeting your customers' needs, and meanwhile reducing risk within the marketplace, then it's an obvious win-win and even more win. Thanks for the opportunity to share some thoughts on rethinking labeling within your supply chain. Bob, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, Rob, for sharing your insight and experience with the audience. That was really great. I can see many of them. There are many questions in the audience, and we'll get to those in a few minutes. I'd like to close by providing a little more information about uh, Lawware that I hope you'll find helpful. As you can see, our customers use our software to drive the creation and delivery of a host of key labels and documents across the supply chain. At the top of the slide, you'll see many of the supply chain's processes from design and planning all the way through returns. And then while it's a little hard to see, down below you can see the multitude of documents and labels uh, that our customers use uh, and print and design and print and manage uh, based uh, on the use of our software. And uh, one thing that we take very seriously and important at Loftware is as the leader in, in enterprise labeling, we're heavily involved in thought leadership. And as we're doing here today at the Gardner Supply Chain Summit, we work with customers and industry leaders to track the latest trends, regulations, and developments that uh, would impact your business. And we host extensive industry and partner webcasts that enable you to hear directly from experts and leading global companies. And we develop white papers and, again, work with customers to address pressing business issues in the enterprise labeling space. So I would encourage you uh, to visit and continue to visit our website at lawfor.com and, uh, and especially our document center. And in addition to that, we're very excited about enterpriselabeling.com. It's a blog that Lawfor is sponsoring, which focuses on pressing labeling issues uh, and topics uh, ranging from counterfeiting to regulatory compliance uh, changes to track and traceability to GS1 and, and many others. And uh, you can see some of that here on the, the screen, and, and you can see the, um, the URL down there at enterpriselabeling.com. So uh, I can see that we're running out of time, and so we will take questions one-on-one. -on -one. Rob and I will uh, stay here afterwards uh, and answer your, your questions, but I would also encourage you to visit us at booth 107, uh, which is around the corner, and several of our executive team members are, are there and be happy to engage with, with you in, in any discussions. And again, thank you very much for attending. I, I hope that you enjoyed this session. And special thanks to Rob Bergman of WL Gore for doing such a great job. Thank you.